Hey everybody, how you doing? We are here live with Alex. Yeah, what's yes, up? We... We're making vegan fried chicken today and you're doing cauliflower style, right? It's cauliflower spicy. Ooh, I love spicy because you know I'm Thai, so I'm all about spice. Yes. So we the cheers the wine. Cheers. Because you know, Tammy's a white connoisseur. I'm broke ass. He's got a real wine glass. <laughs> so I'm learning today. I'm learning today. Angela just joined. Hey, hey what's Angela. up? Hey. Girl, we toasting to the wine. Here we exactly. go. Wine night. Mm. Vegan wine night. So mm. let me go ahead and turn the camera around. Focus on Tammy's beautiful face. So let's do right. Ooh, look at this girl. Hey. 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 What's up? Looking amazing as always. Thank you. Thank you so so let's get started. We got some All cauliflower right. right here. So you take these and you actually put them in chunks, right? Yes. Yeah, so I take a whole cauliflower mm -hmm. and um, you you know you cut the little stalk thing out there and then you break off the pieces and so you can they look like this. A, you may even get yourself a little drunk. And you know cauliflower is cheap too if you buy it whole in the market because you buy it already like this. It costs a lot of money. But if you make it yourself, it's so much cheaper. So thank Trader you for doing Jones. that. $1.99 or something like that for the Hey, what's up? Head. I'm all, all about right. that. You get perfect cauliflower too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, I'm going to have to get my readers, y'all, so I can see. <laughs> what because, um, what you, oh, what is that? Parsley. So right now we have chopped up parsley, about one half cup of chopped up parsley, one half cup of mint. And we're going to make it with this amazing ripple sauce which is a sour cream plant-based sauce alternative so it's not your normal sour cream you guys it's vegan so let's try it out first thing today right. first thing so tammy got her glasses on right now got my glasses on so i can read the recipe yes. hey bliss i just noticed it now okay you guys i i'm not gonna be able to see who is there so if i, I will tell you I okay. will tell you. Thank Don't you. worry. That's why we have a two-person job right, right here. Yay. So Angela joined. Angela I Candy just joined. How? Angela Candy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. All right. And Algie, Angela Abney, too. Okay. Hey, Angela. All right. So, um, you guys, tonight we are making a recipe from Sweet Potato Souls Cookbook. Um, I just want to let you all know, given my um, disclaimer right now, is that mm. I usually use recipes. I have not gotten to the point where I make up my own recipe, but I take a recipe and I might alter it a little bit to suit and add extra flavors and so forth. So today, nice. we are doing Sweet Potato Souls Spicy Fried Cauliflower Chicken. Okay? Hey, I love some chicken, so I'm God. down. Okay. And the only thing what we're missing now are the waffles, because I didn't think about that till later. Next time. Here, you know so. we do more work together, because I like Tammy, so we're going to make some more <laughs> stuff. To Miko herself right there. Yes. So let me tell you guys what we've got here. So as you can see, we have our cauliflower. What I do like to do with, and I'm sure you may have done this with meat. So if when you are cooking with meat, sometimes I'm, I'm hoping that you guys season your meat before you actually put the seasoning on. Mm -hmm. So I did the same thing with cauliflower. So I already added a little bit of salt to that and a little bit of garlic powder just there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's all, you know, tossed up in there. Then what we have here is our dry seasonings. This is a cup of whole wheat flour. Mm -hmm. It's got um, some arrowroot. You can either use arrowroot or cornstarch, and that's what helps to give it that little bit of a crunch on your um, your chicken or our cauliflower. <laughs> um, there is salt in there. There's cayenne pepper. There's white pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, sweet paprika. Now, I should. I'm supposed to show you guys this. <laughs> So Ooh, what you got here? This is a, now I have a favorite, um, my spice shop, Old Town Spice in Oakland, uh -huh. down in Oakland by the lake. So I use, reuse jars and this is a smoked Spanish sweet paprika. As you can see, I use a lot and it's almost gone. So we've got that in there. We've got some white pepper. Ooh, you know Asians love white pepper. So that's... As you can see, it's got the Asian writing on it. Nice, nice. So we've got, um, got our arrowroot. Yes, I reused my jar there. So now, where do you find arrowroot normally? You can find that at the uh, grocery store. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, my pink Himalayan sea salt. Oh, I love pink salt. Now you know, now y'all know, okay, no, ki no kitchen should be without Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning. Old okay. Bay. you exactly. got to have your Old Bay. So we've got some of that Old Bay in there. Uh, what else? What other spices? I think. Oh, and 
because it's spicy, we've got a little cayenne pepper, y'all. Oh, yeah, that was actually right. my cayenne pepper, so you know I went all yeah. out. <laughs> Humongous. We share, we care. And, today. I, and, I found out, and I found out tonight that, that uh, you said Thai? Thai people are the spiciest Asians. Spice That's what I am. We're also the unicorn of Asians because it's not a lot of us. But our food's very popular, so you see Thai restaurants everywhere. So, now... This is not on the recipe. Oh, and there's also nutritional yeast in there. And I think I showed you guys my kitchen a long time ago. B12. I use that. And I love nutrition. Now, your nutritional yeast, it gives you like a little bit of a um, cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. Right? So you of put course. that in there. You're using Vicky Bacon cheese all the time. Yes. So, now, I don't know if anybody remembers, but a long time ago, or this summer, I went to a festival, and I found this uh, spice shop that's almost like Old Town um, Spice in San Francisco, mm -hmm. but it's down in the peninsula or South Bay. And I think it's Milpitas. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, it's called Penzi's. And so this is not on the recipe, mm -hmm. but I added it, and it's called Fox Point Seasoning. <gasps> mm. What's it have inside it? That? You want to smell I it? I want to smell it. I want to smell it. Mmm, smells good, girls. Oh my it's gosh, hey guys. All so let me stuff. tell you what's in here. It's got, right. uh, you can use it for baked chicken, vegetables, eggs, fish fillet, whatever. So it has salt, shallots, chives, garlic, onion, and green peppercorns. Ooh, I love that. That sounds green peppercorns too. I love this stuff, y'all. I can put it on everything. It makes everything taste good. And I want to thank my girl Robin uh, for hooking me up with that so now that's what we have here in our dry ingredients mm -hmm. in our wet ingredients we have a plant-based milk today mm -hmm. i used oat milk Ooh, um, oat milk is so creamy too yes i love oat milk and um we have a little bit of dijon mustard oh yeah grand poupon you know fancy, fancy got a little, fancy, little yeah. finger in it just be like mm, mm -hmm. mm. Nope. Got the yeah, she got it she got it and because we want this to have a little bit of a buttermilk kind of a consistency or mm -hmm. flavoring. We added a little bit of apple cider. I had two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar Ooh. to one cup of um, plant-based That's milk. a good one too. That's the one they use in all the markets this as well. This is the one that we got here. Bragg's. Okay? And then, because like I said, it's spicy. <laughs> we've got some sriracha. Sriracha, you know I love sriracha. I can never say You had to Thai sauce actually sriracha originally in thailand really yes well the name is kind of almost spanish because every time i say it i always have to go sriracha. you know i got some latino friends so you know what i'm saying so, <laughs> all right what you so say? that's what we have here in our mix mm -hmm. in our wet mix now this is how i because i like to make sure everything is flavored very well mm -hmm. i will also i'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to this wet mix as well so i'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder in there nice i'm gonna put a little bit of the a little bit of salt in there king salt minerals okay Looking good because you want to make sure that your stuff is very well seasoned don't play with the seasonings y'all i'm just saying um and then I'm going to add a little bit of this bay in there. Old bay. The old bay. Old bay makes old, but still it hella okay. Good. Exactly. And lastly, because... Oh, we already got that in there. So, okay. Uh, but, uh, but, but now I'm going to... Uh, do you have a spoon? I'm yes, sorry. I do. I spoon. Got one right here for you. All right. And we're going to mix that up. And so when I mix it up a little bit earlier, you add the Dijon mustard to this I, I think i already told you guys that but anyway you, you stir it up till it gets a little creamy all right okay. nice okay now we are getting ready to we're all set that's nice. all your ingredients all right now comes the fun part it's gonna get all sticky and dirty mm, you yeah. ready that's what we all like right. sometimes you're so I'm gonna start if you're kicking with... you might like that more <laughs> well, now, we ain't judging that's a whole <laughs> different conversation <laughs> So what I like to do is yeah. first, um, I like to go ahead and dip. Oh yeah, dip that. Mm. Dip this in. Mm. Now, just bathing. Now this is the only time I'm gonna tell y'all. This is the only time where it's gonna be okay to double dip. Don't y'all go double dipping when you dipping in stuff. Okay. This time you can double dip. Dip and right? sauce. Dip and sauce. So dip. You're going to dip. I do mm. another dip on that. Saucy. <laughs> All right. Saucy. Because I'm saucy. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Do, 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 do. A little Lizzo in there. there that's what I'm talking go. about. Boom. All Beautiful. right. And there we go. We've got 
our first one all <gasps> sauced Gorgeous. up. Gorgeous. We're going to put that there. We're gonna and I love that you have a version that doesn't include chicken, especially, you know, vegan chicken, because sometimes you want an alternative to that. Yes. Nope. Yeah. This is all. And guess what, you guys? This is all plant based, okay? Notice we didn't have any, we, we are not using any, um, uh, uh, anything that's processed. There's nothing processed in mm -hmm. here, okay? So we're gonna double, go ahead and double dip that in there again. All right. And if you don't wanna get your fingers all, you know, messy, but you know, that's part of cooking. That's what makes, that's what makes it nice, you guys. You gotta connect with your food. Look at that, you guys. You Some have to fresh connect with right food. There. Anybody say anything? Um, just Angela, Kennedy, with the same people, Angela Kennedy, Angela okay. Ebony. Okay, all right. We get people on. How y'all doing today? Nice to so see you. So if you out there, if anybody's got any questions about this, hit me up. Yeah, you know, you got an expert right here telling you what to do. This is like, so this is amazing. so fun. Yes, yeah, so now I've done this for non-vegan and they enjoyed these. This, they liked it as well. We've got, oh, almost forgot to tell you, we got our oil over here. Um, as you all know, you want to make sure it's nice and hot. And this will not take long to cook, but you want to make sure that your oil is nice and hot, okay? And I am going to post the actual ingredients of this recipe. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, in this link when we are all done. But, uh, you know, I don't want, want to give it away to you right before, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to do a couple more pieces, and then we're going to fry this puppy up. All right? And then Alex is going to... Um, I'm gonna make some sauce, you guys. Make, make a sauce. sauce. Make extra juice with some herb sauce that's creamy and delicious. Now Just I, like it should be. Now, I would be honest, I almost forgot. I, I did forget. I was gonna bring some barbecue sauce over. Ooh, some barbecue sauce barbecue would be great too, as well. Too. And so you can do that as well. If you want to make the, if you want to alternate and make a little something different with this. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can cover, you can fry them up and then have your barbecue sauce ready on the side mm -hmm. and coat those babies in barbecue sauce. Or if you want to make them buffalo, you can make yourself some buffalo. Oh, that'd be a great style. idea. You can make them a little yes. smaller yes. and do buffalo style. So there's a lot of different, one, two, we, I'm going to make sure we each get, okay, so I'm going to do one more. Then we've got, uh, each of us get, I can add six pieces, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, this is, whoo, it's hot over here now. Because <laughs> you cook it, you cook it in the kitchen. Why did I wear a sweater <laughs> <laughs> today? Okay, and you can see how your hands get all ooey gooey, ooey gooey. So we got two cameras on you right now. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, we got oh, mine. Oh boy, now we, we got, got yours. yours. Oh my goodness. We're doing dual action right oh, here. Boy, we, man, we but you look beautiful things. either way, so. All right. You guys, okay. we're actually watching, watching Tam on the line. Marcus okay. just joined too as well. Hey Marcus, how you and doing? And Maria just joined. Hey We're making Maria. vegan fried chicken. Look at this, you guys. Vegan, vegan fried, fried chicken. chicken. Okay. Andrew just joined. Thanks hey, Andrew for joining. Okay. We're going to wave at you guys. Cool. So you guys, we got the duel because we want the both actions. Hey. Yeah, here you go. We got Tammy. So, now, I'm going to give you yes. all my customer. Hey, exactly. So I, got fingers, so I need to wash my fingers off before I dip Oh, this no into problem. The, no into problem. The... So while she's washing hands, let me show you what we have. We have some cauliflower dipped in some batter that is vegan fried chicken like, you guys. So good. We're gonna try it out for the first time. We have the ripple sour cream we're gonna try it for the first time, as well as some fresh herbs from mint, as well as parsley. So it's gonna be exciting, you guys. And of course, it's all. Vegan, vegan oh, yum. Vegan. Look All at right. that. Look now, at that. Do you have some tongs or something that we can? I uh, do. So we have some black tongs. I'll get this for you. Black tongs? Are they're these, right there. They're right here? Yeah, get that oh. over there. All she's right. all situated. Well, you gotta wash those though. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I gotta wash okay. those up. Yeah, she's gonna wash them real quick. <laughs> <laughs> We should have pre-planned this a little bit. Yeah, I forgot about the tongs. No problem. We all, we all well look at that. To... We just took some cauliflowers, put them in sections right here. And then we used that to dip in the batter and then dip in the flour. Then she double dipped, but it's a good thing. So she dipped it back in the batter, dipped it back in the flour with the seasoned flour, and made this beautiful thing right here, the cauliflower. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful, right. beautiful. Now, if you want to make sure that your grease is hot, one thing that you can do is you can flick a little 
Put a little water in there. Put a little water? Hear, if you hear, if it flies up when you put some water in, then you know your grease is hot and ready to go. Yes, okay? hey. That's just a quick little tip. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit because it didn't go quite as, so you can hear it popping. Thank you Almost for the like heart, popcorn. you guys. Here, set the heart. Thank you for the heart. Oh, thank That's you for the love. Thank you for the love. Keep it popping. Vegan fried yes. chicken, you guys. Hey, it's getting, we getting it popping up in here. Yes, yes, yes. All okay. right. All right. You would also add some flour if you don't have water, too, as well. Ah. And that would make a pop. Okay. So she's taking that, oh, we're going to fry oh, it up, well, you guys. You know what, let's try that. Just because so that people can see what that looks like. Sure. Thing. Yeah, I see a little bit of the popping. That's how you know it's hot. There we go. It's almost ready. It's not hot enough, though, I don't think. That's we're okay. Gonna, we're going to let it go a little bit hotter there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. And it should only take about 8 to 10 minutes. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, see, it's not ready. It's almost there. We yeah, got to wait for a little gotta, bit. We got to raise I'm up the surprised. heat. Yeah, we got to put some more heat on there. We got to put that heat up. Yeah, because that should have been like, whew, ready to go. Right? Yes. Then if, you, if, if it's not hot and ready, then what's happening is your food is sitting in that grease. Okay? Yes, exactly. Now, this may not, so the, what we're making is plant-based, but what throws it off a little bit is because we're cooking it in this oil. So in plant-based cooking, you don't usually use oil. So if you want to get through this without using oil, if you have an air fryer, you can Good use point. an air fryer. Now I have done mine in the air fryer, but I didn't feel like lugging that over here. Uh, that oh shit, I told me I have an air fryer. Oh. Well, I wanted to, you know, we had to No kinda, problem. We're we making it work. That, you know, but we, again, here, sometimes we need a little oil in our life. But if you want to, make it super low-cal, use an air fryer. Just like yep. Tamiko said. So, it's all good. Adina just joined. Hey, Adina. What's up? So, Adina, hey, Adina. Uh, Maria, Andrew, and Marcus joined the conversation. So, hey super excited. And Doreen said, hey, fish. And also, Don said, what type of oil did you use? I used... Um, Canola oil. Canola oil. Yeah. You could also use avocado oil and different things like that. Yeah. So you can see it getting wet right now, just frying it's up. It's getting there. We're going to get a little hotter, you yeah, guys. Because you know, because we want that. We want that to pop in there and We want to fry it up. So that first fry piece, I'll probably eat that first piece. Of this. <laughs> it's to all to the good. It's yeah. all to the good. So we want to, um, yep. See, now you can hear it. But look how that's looking, you guys. Look at that. It's nice and brown. Now, I, now, I want you all to know that I did use whole wheat flour. Nice. Um, but if you are looking to go gluten-free, mm. there are gluten-free flours on the market. You can also use like a chickpea flour. I do want to um, warn you though, if you're going to use chickpea flour, chickpea flour does um, take in a lot of moisture. Yeah. Okay? So just be mindful of that. All right? I just want to let you all know. So that. Marco just can... joined, Marco Riot, hey, and he Marco. asked, what kind of egg wash do you use? We actually use egg wash because it's vegan, you guys. So what kind of wash are we using right now? We are we have no egg wash. What we are using is our liquid mix, which is a plant-based milk. with um, To make it kind of a buttermilk, we added apple cider vinegar. This has um, some sriracha in there, and it's got some Dijon mustard. Beautiful. So it's a seasoned plant-based milk with sriracha, Dijon mustard, salt, as well as some of the Bragg's, right? Yes. Not Bragg's, the, but the apple cider vinegar. Yeah, yes. Bragg Bragg's. organic apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little bit of each, and then again, you know, it keeps it um, free of eggs, which is amazing. No eggs. And look how that's coming out, you guys. Look at there. And Tamiko said that if you want to make it super low-cal, use an air fryer. The air fryer. Now we can prop. Yes, there we now go. That's, that's what, what you we want. want to see. We want. To, ooh, Whoa, look at see? That. Oh yeah, fry that's what you up. want. Yeah, baby. Ooh, look at that. Look at this frying up. There Again, we go. a low cal version of the digital fried chicken. If you want even more low cal, use the air fryer. So I hope that answered your question, Marco. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining. Yeah, see, that's what you want. You wanted to ooh. do that. Jared just joined. Hey, Jared, what's hey, up? Jared. We got both um, both phones right now because it's hella ghetto style. I'm holding her phone. I'm holding my phone. Oh my god, we doing it all. So we're trying to get all the viewers, but I'm like, damn, girl. We, you, know, uh -oh. but you know, it's worth it because we see that beautiful face. Look at that. Oh, what's up? Yes, thank you, Marco. Oh my god. Marco says thank you. So you're welcome, Marco. Right. Yolanda says hi, y'all. Hey, Yolanda. So you know why you. Waiting for your stuff to go. We, we're going to have a little sip of wine. 
Oh yeah, she gets now, it somewhere. Gonna, you, now how do you want you want me to hold that while you prepare your sauce or how do you I'm holding two sauce? cameras, girl. I will I will eat it when I get the sauce making. I don't want to drop anything right now because okay. I'm like boom. All right. Well Jordan says I have to you, try this. Who says that? Uh Jordan says I have to try this. Okay, and then Jordan. Jared says I enjoy your videos. I enjoy you, Jared. My uh, old friend. Look at you, man. Turn that over. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mary just joined. Hey Mary, look at hey, this. Oh yeah, hey. some vegan fried chicken made out of cauliflower this time, you guys. But not just the cauliflower wings like most recipes have. It's the actual, like full chicken wing cauliflower I'm talking about. Mm. But no chicken involved. A no local recipe. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, now sizzle. if you want to add a little extra more crunch. Oh, thanks for the hearts. Also, thanks for the heart. Thanks for the love. Yes. Um, now we are. If you like, we gonna dump. We got. I got some uh, vegan blue cheese blue. No, yeah, blue yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> so, I love follow your heart products. I love to follow your heart cheese. Ooh, I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and take a sip, y'all. Thank you for the heart, you guys. Lots of hearts. Oh, look here. Oh, yeah. Getting a little mm. tipsy during the recipe. We I'm telling you. Enjoying wine all yeah, you know what I'm saying? Time. You gotta enjoy sometimes. So Vegans yeah. like to enjoy it sometimes. A little That's drink don't right. hurt nobody. Now, I'm sure somebody's probably gonna ask, is it a vegan wine? I don't know. It's wine. <laughs> Alright, and... It don't have no chicken legs in it, so I'm sure it's fine. Now, where did you Ooh, get those, of course. Um, paper towel, those napkins? Oh, I got them on the tabletop. The so they're white ones. Did I give you most of them? Uh, maybe you gave me all of them. Okay. Uh, I just want to use a paper towel to... You can use a strainer. So there's a strainer right here. Use this, and this will actually reduce ah, the oil. Okay. So, you know if you don't have a paper towel, it actually is a way to not use wood. Ah, okay. Yeah, and that will drain the oil for you. Yay. So, oh, look at that front. Oh, you're falling look over. At, no. Golden brown. Oh. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, Ooh that's look at so that. pretty. <laughs> for your vegan vegetarian friends who don't eat meat, you can make some fried chicken for them just through the cauliflower. Look at that. Thanks for the hearts, Marcus and Christy Griffin just joined. Hi, Christy. Hi, Christy. Look at you. Oh, boy. Hey, what's up, you guys? Mary Look always it. joined. Mary always supported. Oh, man. Y'all, this is like, oh, this is looking good. Oh, oh girl. Man, that looks good. Now, if you want to add a little extra crunch, you can add panko uh, crumbs to it. If you want to oh, Asian it, style. You can add a little panko crumbs. Panko comes from Japan. To give it a little extra more crunch. Yeah. You know, I, this is my thing. Is you see a recipe and you do with it what you want to do with it. Yeah. And make it your own. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you you can use this as the base, but then you know you see I added in a different spice. Um, I added in a little bit more seasoning than what it says on there. I put the seasoning on not only where it says to put the seasoning in the dry goods, but I also put the seasoning in the wet mm -hmm. as well as on the food itself. Right. Now we're gonna probably pop these out here in a second but I want to also make sure that the cauliflower on the inside has a nice bite and not too crunchy. Oh yes. Okay. Throw those hearts you guys. More hearts. More hearts. We love those oh, hearts. Oh man. This are, we're getting lots of hearts. Yes. Yeah, yes. That's what I'm talking about you know. Thank you I like guys. them hearts. Oh, Valentine's Day. Every day. Seven. All day. Oh yeah. We, woo, we cooking with. So thank you to Adina, Andrew, Maria, Marcus. Um, Yolanda, Jared, Mary, mm. Sharon. Ooh, can oh, you smell it? Ooh. Yes. We will post the recipe. Vision, Sharon oh. wants to know the recipe. We're doing cauliflower fried chicken with a seasoned flour in a plant based milk Look dressing with Dijon mustard and vinegar. We're going to post the ingredients soon, but keep on watching. Yes. Okay. Enjoy. Risa just joined. Hey, Risa, what's hey, going Risa. on? Well, you know what? I think, you guys, I think we are about ready to. Just play it, it up. Yes. Play it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, looky, look at that beautiful looky. brownness. That I looks so I good. A picture, a still picture of this. Yeah, see? Ooh. Now, what happens though, I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to let y'all in a secret. Sometimes when you have your fire up too high, it can cook too fast and it'll get too brown. Yeah, so you want to keep so, it on like so medium. It, but look at that. That's a nice, that pretty beautiful. brown. Look at that. Mm. Ooh. 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 You smelling it? Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. It smells delicious. Ooh. Ooh. That looks good. Ooh. Okay. That I'm excited. A little extra. Hey, what's up, Risa? Ooh, those hearts. Yes, those hearts. Oh, I'm boy. oh yeah. Look at Love Lookie. this. Oh my God. Looking good. Looking good. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, we about to eat. 
good up yes, in here. Yes, exactly. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. Wow. So good. We need a still. We're going to have to save one so we can get a good still picture of this. Oh, okay? yes, we will. Oh, man, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, can, wait, I want you to hear the crunch. Yeah, you can hear some hear crunch on the outside. Yep. Hear that yeah. crunch? Hear the crunch? Age exactly. One has a little crunch. That's Sheila just said, hey, y'all, the South in the house. <laughs> Yes, the South is in the house because I am from Chicago and my roots are Arkansas. So, and this recipe comes from a, a Sweet Potato Soul. If you don't know who Sweet Potato Soul is, follow her on YouTube and um, Instagram. Um, you know what? I forgot to do my introduction. My name is Tamiko Garner. I am your plant-based vegan sister who likes to keep it real and relatable, inspiring you to adopt a plant-based vegan way of eating one plate at a time. That's all it takes is one plate at a time. Don't nice. try to do too much at too much time, okay? Beautiful. Just do that at one Sheila time. says, I love those. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this, you guys. Right. Ooh. So, now we've got we got options. We can have it with some blue cheese dressing. Oh, let me make the sauce real quick. Oh, I got some sauce. sauce. Um, if you want it, you can add a little extra sriracha to that. If you got Anything some, you want. Now I'm going to tell y'all. Now here, here we go with the South. If you have some crystal hot sauce. Yes, of course. Everything, everything. I'm just saying. So, Tammy, I want you to hold the camera okay, because I'm I will make the camera. sauce real okay. quick. Real quick. Because you know I got to be in here too because we filming today. So, right. oh my, I know it's like a bunch of stuff going on. But okay, so we got one, one and then yours. And then <laughs> two. Okay. Hold oh, down. Woo! I made it. About tripping. So, we're going to make a vegan. Plant-based sauce today. This is gonna go perfect uh -oh. with the cauliflower. I, all right, hold on, y'all. Yeah. We, well, I had to move my hand so I could see. Oh. Okay, there we go. What's up, y'all? Okay. What's up, Tammy's audience? What's up, my audience? We got two cameras today because we get old, so we're trying to make it. <laughs> um, so let's start with the sauce. Hey, so Sheila. <laughs> a quarter of a cup of chopped up parsley. Parsley is very good for like improving your throat, for improving your immunity, for adding a lot of antioxidant hey, system. We got some mint. Mint's very good for digestion mm. and also for immunity health. Equal parts, a quarter cup of each chopped up in the bowl, and just beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh yeah. look at that. Then what we're gonna do we're is gonna we're gonna get... take. This, I'm gonna wash the spoon. Oh, real quick, you okay, know? I got your underarm. Yeah, show them Sorry the, about the that. But, we got the underarm. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> So we have this thing I got from Grocery Out, which is the Ripple Dairy Free as soon as it should be plant-based sour cream alternative. Now I got this for $1.99 at Grocery Outlet, what? but you can find any sour cream that's what? vegan at most of your stores, and that will do just fine. So it's all about creating your journey. And your all right. Journey. So okay. you go ahead. It's real thick. So, Ooh, that looks actually. Let's let's see if we can get a close-up of that. Oh here. yeah. Just put a little cream. I put a little, the man's put a little cream in here right now. All right. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun well, intended. You know, you want, well, you know however. You're a little nasty. It's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> and anything wrong with that. that. So All we right. have three large tablespoons of this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add um, two cracks of the Himalayan pink salt that Tammy brought. From Miko brought. Two tablespoons of that. A little bit of this red pepper. Mm -hmm. um, about a teaspoon of this as well. Oh, ooh, yeah, a little sprinkle. Mmm, salt bay, salt bay, salt bay, salt bay. Oh, yeah, I was more on a sprinkle, but you know, I like it spicy. So <laughs> we like it spicy. I'm sorry, you know, I like it. Um, All right. You don't have to add this, but a little sprinkling of the white pepper. Okay. To go well with Tamiko's seasoning. And lastly, only a capful, about a teaspoon, of the Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar, okay? Okay. Just add a little citrusness in there. So it's about. Ah. Uh, Capful right here, and all right, that's it, y'all. Simple, what? delicious. You want the crunchy, the creamy, and then of course the herbalicious. Herbalicious. So mix together right now, and you can see it's just beautiful. Just come together, mix it all together. Oh yeah, get those close-up food porn shots. You want that food porn? That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, mix it all together, yeah. and you get all the herbs. I use these herbs from my garden actually, so I grow my own mint. Wow, these are fresh. Yes. yes. You know wow. About? All the air day, I love herbs. I'm an herbalist, so I love all that stuff. And nice. when you mix it together, it becomes this beautiful, creamy, nice gorgeous herb sauce. That's okay. It. Simple, easy, delicious, and of course, 
nutrient packed. That's the way we want to do things today. That's right. We want to be nutri nutritious. Exactly. We can still eat some good old uh, junk food, but this is not junk food. Yeah. This is body food. This body is love food. food. Yeah, this is Tammy health looks, food. Tamika looks good at any age. Uh -oh. so she's just gorgeous. So you, you, you guys are just I'm too gonna kind. Do, what are you uh, going to do? I'm going to try one. I'm okay. I'm going to try one of the sauce. I'm going to we're gonna switch around and have okay. Tamika try another one. All so right. I'm going to take a piece right now. All right. I'll show you up. Cool now stuff. you have to let me know how it tastes. Ooh, it's Ooh. nice and warm. Oh my gosh. It's kind of burnt my Oh my God, it smells like fried chicken in here, y'all. Yeah, so first we're going to take this, this to like a nice shot of me dipping in the sauce. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh wow. Right Look now. at See? that. Again, nutritious, delicious, and amazing. So the crust is just popping off right here. To get a bit of crust, and mm. a little sauce in here. Okay. Try it out. All Cheers. right. Cheers, Cheers, everyone. Love Let you all. Boom. Let me know what you think. Oh, God. Oh. So, <laughs> the cauliflower is really tender inside. Good. And the crust is like this beautiful crust. It's like all crunchy. Has a flavor of the jean, a little salt, some of the apple cider vinegar. It's like this perfect balance between crunchy and tender on the inside, mm. just like real chicken. But you know mm. what I'm saying? All right, now. Healthier and better. Last bite, and try this out here. All right. Mm. Uh, drip a little oh. bit. Of salt. You know what's all good? Just re dip, re dip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't mind this part, so I was thinking in that double dipping. Oh, oh. oh Whoa, look, look at that, y'all. Oh, yeah. Man. So okay. Cool. Ooh, I love you all. Thanks He's about adoring. to. Hey, Jen. Hey, mm. she cheers. Sheila said cheers. Cheers, Sheila. Cheers, everyone. Look at that, you guys. Can you Beautiful see that? Tender on the inside. Look at that. Nice person on the outside. Just pour. Oh. Gorgeous soap. Oh, man, I don't want to let this go right now. I'm just like. Oh. <laughs> I think it's good, y'all. Mm. And look how quick we made that. That was really quick. We did that in what, 15 minutes? Mm. If that. Right? Of oh. course, okay, we already had some of the prep done. Oh, is it enough spice though? Okay, mm. all right. Well, mm. all right. So, I'm going to try the little one. I'm going to try this little one here. And I'm going to try a little bit with the sauce. Hey. All right. They put that sauce on there. Oh, sauce. It's a, little, it's a little different from it, but I'm gonna give it. A, you know what? And I'm gonna do this, y'all. A little Just sriracha, a little spice. I'm gonna add a little sriracha on there. Yeah, boy. Jen started watching. Hey. Jen says hi. Sharon right. says I'm hungry. Oh, let's have her try it out. What about that? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Mm. Bless you. Ooh. Sorry. Bless you. The sriracha got to me, but I love it. Mmm. Mm. Wow, y'all. The inside is, if I have to say so myself, mm. is cooked perfect. Look at, look how tender that is. It just breaks Ooh, real yeah. easy. Mm. So you still, you know, it's not so soft where you got mush, but it's enough of a crunch that you chew. Mm. Oh yeah, and I don't. Ooh, I can feel that bite and second mm. coming in the in the back. Mm. Mm. Looking good, looking good, looking good. So we got a few comments. Sharon mm. says, I'm hungry, so ready to run to the grocery store right now. Mm. Thank you, Sharon. Sh oh, thank you, Sharon. Sharonda Field says, I need to make this. Sharonda says, thanks, guys. Uh, Sharon says, looks delish. Mm. Uh, Maria says, making me hungry now. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Maria? Oh, and then Maria says, uh, bless you, Alex Tip. Thank you. And Stephanie is watching right now as well. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie B. Stephanie hey, B. Stephanie. And of course, Sheila, always supportive, saying bless you. We love you Thank too. You. And V. Loretta just joined as well. So we just made some wow. vegan fried chicken. Look Woo. at this, you guys. Ooh, yeah, vegan <clears throat> fried chicken in this beautiful <clears throat> herbless sauce. Man. We're going to post the recipe. So. We're going to post the recipe. Now, I'm going to try it now with the, with the blue cheese. Mm. Just because, like Tabitha says, because it's my business yes. and we want to do it. Multiple anyway. sauces, little sauce okay. buffet right now. Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so tender and juicy. You guys. Wow. Well, oh, they said put a little more of that herb sauce on. They want to see that again. Oh, you want to see the herb sauce again? They want some people want to see the herb sauce again. Okay, there we go. You know, I'm gonna have to make this my darn self. Did you like um, that? This is pretty good. I would have never, never would have thought to make a sour cream sauce to go with my chicken. But now you you look and I 
You know what? I, I, I even said we could add some of this fox trot to it. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Add anything you want, anything you want, alter it to your own style. Man, man. The only thing is, I think that what I might do next time is, I feel like I probably could have put a little bit more sriracha. Oh yeah. In the wet sauce. A little bit more, and I actually. Think I'm that sure I'm some people would be like, you know, that's enough. But we like it spicy. But I'm like, we like it spicy. Oh my God, yes, 